It's Super Saturday here at the ICC Women's T20 World Cup in South Africa, featuring the tournament's most high-profile doubleheader off the group stage. India take on England in the first fixture of the day, followed by host South Africa, facing defending champions and title favourites Australia. The good news emerging from St. George's Park, the venue here in Cleberha, is that the weather has held up. Remember, it had been drizzling in Kleberha to the best part of the morning, but over the past couple of hours, there hasn't been any rain. And from the looks of it, aside from passing showers to the course of the evening, to the course of the afternoon, there might not be anything to be concerned about. To have a match constituted, remember, there has to be at least five overs per side. And that is what all four teams would be hoping because all of them are vying for uh, the semi-finals berth. As far as the Group 2 fixture is concerned, India versus England, India are number two on the points table at, the point, at this point and England are the table toppers. Though both teams are locked on four points, England by virtue of a superior net run rate are leading India at this point in time. As far as South Africa are, in, uh, are concerned, they will look to get a, a win which is kind of unlikely given how Australia have performed not just in this tournament so far undefeated really but also over the past uh, 14 months they've just been beaten once and that was by India during the 2022 um, tour of, of the country 20, 2022 December five match uh, T20I series in Mumbai and Navi Mumbai so a lot to be uh, watched out in terms of how the the four teams go on to lock horns and what the result might eventually be and as far as the conditions are concerned the conditions have in South Africa so far favored quite heavily the spinners though the seamers have also been able to reap some benefits but it looks like the seamers are going to be in contention to be uh, in a position to dictate terms so Renuka Singh, Lauren Bell, Catherine Brandt all of them could be uh, reaping great purchase off the pitch and from the conditions whether India's spin attack which has been their power so far really not just in this tournament but historically comes to the fore puts their hand up remains to be seen but they will be looking to uh, defeat this England side because a lot has happened between the two sides uh, especially if you remember the last time these two sides met which was at Lord's uh, last year during what was Julian Goswami's swan song and that match although it was an ODI fixture ended with Deepti Sharma running out Charlie Dean on the hallowed turf at Lord's there is a lot of history between the two sides and with the last T20I World, World Cup fixture between India and, and, India and in, uh, England having been washed out during the 2020 edition in Australia, in Sydney, which actually eliminated uh, England because no match was, no play was possible uh, during, uh, during that day in, in March and it led to India progressing to the semi-finals and England unfortunately had to head back home because India had remained unbeaten to the course uh, uh, in the in the lead up to that uh, semi-final but India England had to go back home spotting sunnies if you remember that uh, epic post Instagram post by Heather Knight the entire England squad was sporting sunglasses probably uh, in a in a bit of an bit of an implicit messaging to the ICC to have reserved days in place and that fixture actually led the ICC to ensure that all um, knockouts fixture fixtures at the World Cup have reserved days in place but this is mind you just a group stage double header so there are there, there is no question of uh, having reserved days uh, in place but uh, both teams both India and England and later South Africa and Australia would be hoping to not just get five overs of play from their own side but also the entire match done and dusted because uh, it's it's poised to be one of uh, two of the most high octane clashes here at the World Cup and how the teams fare we'll keep an eye out for that thank you very much for watching